from everybody. Keep your TV. This planet just keeps coming out. You actually start seeing the surface of it. Um, I don't know what the debris is around it, but it, what it is is what it is, right? So live uh, streaming, live show coming over 9,000 pictures right now and growing. You guys keep sending pictures. It's growing. Keep watching. yesterday about two o'clock i think live down in uh mexico uh Lotos santos something like that mexico but anyways um you can see the texture keep watching you'll see the texture just uh get real close looks like two side by side planets or ufos or whatever or stripe planet and ufo or asteroid and ufo or Blue beam and deception come in the on, sky. Man, come you on, come on, stop to get off. Anyway, Wake up. 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 Wake up.
Okay, warning folks, from this point on, I will not be responsible for the condition of your heart. Because this is some stuff that can make your heart stop. So, you can step out if you're scared, but you've been warned, this is real footage, I do not know what this is. And you tell me, chat or comment. God bless. I'll see you soon. Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. This afternoon, a bulletin from New Mexico suggested that the widely publicized mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. Army Air Force officers reported that one of the strange discs had been found and inspected sometime last week. Our correspondents in Los Angeles and Chicago have been in contact with Army officials endeavoring to obtain all possible late information. Joe Wilson reports to us now from Chicago. The Army may be getting to the bottom of all this talk about the so-called flying saucer. As a matter of fact, the 509th Atomic Bomb Group headquarters at Roswell, New Mexico, reports that it has received one of the discs which landed on a ranch outside Rockwell. The disc landed at a ranch at Corona, New Mexico, and the rancher turned it over to the Air Force. Rancher W.W. Brazil was the man who discovered the saucer. Colonel William Blanchard of the Rockwell Air Base refuses to give details of what the flying disc looks like. In Fort Worth, Texas, where the object was first sent, Brigadier General Roger Ramey says that it is being shipped by air to the AAF Research Center at Wright Field, Ohio. A few moments ago, I talked...